this century should be a century of dialogue. Whenever we face some disagreement, some different interest or conflict, we have to find ways and means to solve that through dialogue, through talk. We believe the conflicts are of life challenges and there are ways to transform it into positive energy. Drawing strength, encouragement and inspiration from His Holiness the Dalai Lama's heartfelt request to humanity, in the small hill town of Dharamshala in Himachal Pradesh, India, a group of young Tibetan refugees formed the Tibetan Center for Conflict Resolution in May 2001 with initial support from the Department of Home of the Central Tibetan Administration and intensive year-long training led by Denmark-based conflict resolution experts Elsie Hemmerich and Bjarne Westergaard. While the concepts of non-violent conflict resolution have its roots in ancient Buddhist philosophy and traditions, TCCR is the pioneer organization in advancing modern conflict resolution and peace-building tools blended with the unique understanding of Buddhist wisdom in this part of the world among Tibetan refugee communities. I am very happy and proud to recall TCCR magnificent journey for 20 years of dedication and commitment. With humble beginning on 1st May 2001, with three staff and empty room. At the time, I was the oldest among us, just in my 20s. We are very young and energetic. We have full confidence on the tools and skills of nonviolent conflict resolution. We started our center with the design of thinking globally and working locally. As His Holiness the Dalai Lama says, the conflicts are created by human mind and means to resolve them should also be created through human intelligence. Therefore, the Tibetan Center for Conflict Resolution works towards this end and creating various methods and tools that bring a different approach to dealing with the conflicts. An approach that is more respectful of others, more compassionate, and definitely more creative. We try everywhere possible to incorporate Buddhist philosophy with our modern conflict resolution and bring forth a unique approach that can be utilized by the whole world. For the future, I can resolutely say that TCCR will continue to serve humankind and work towards bringing people closer through the threats of deep understanding, great respect and culture of non-violent management of all conflicts. TCCR is now entering its 20th year since inception and in the past two decades, TCCR has organized and conducted over 400 workshops and training programs touching the lives of tens of thousands of people, introducing communication skills, listening skills, leadership skills, mediation and counseling skills, modern teaching methodologies and basic conflict resolution approaches and tools. Working at the grassroots, TCCR focuses on youth and women empowerment, fostering stronger relations between Tibetans and Indians, strengthening civil society and democratic processes, and promoting dialogue and culture of wisdom and understanding. The Youth Empowerment Workshop Series focuses on college students as well as unemployed youth, introducing leadership skills and strengthening nonviolent and democratic ideologies. The roundtable discussions are shorter programs bringing people from different communities together in a safe and progressive space to discuss issues and explore ways of working together on resolutions. Our efforts with newly arrived Tibetan refugees have proved to bring about smoother transition into exile life and better understanding and appreciation for cultural differences. Schools play a major role in shaping our future generations and one of our prime areas of focus has been working with school students and staff to shape their outlook towards differences, violence, conflicts and finding simple solutions to complex challenges. Education is a very powerful tool that can bring about uh, positive changes in the world. The schools provide 
opportunities for academic excellence and at the same time we believe that it is highly important to provide uh, an, a holistic uh, environment for growth where intelligence, creativity, compassion and life skills are nurtured. So during the two decades we realized that we have dedicated 22% of our efforts in working with the schools. We have had long association with the Center for Conflict Resolution. They have organized workshops for our teachers, school counselors, and foster parents. And our participants have found their workshop very useful and practical. And they said that it helped in resolving their day-to-day -day conflicts. And when we talk about working with the schools, it's not just the students, but also the teachers and the caregivers, like the home mothers. Uh, I remember uh, in our early years, uh, in one of our workshops for the teachers, there was a teacher who shared with us that she was at the verge of quitting her job and she felt inadequate in, in properly uh, dealing with the disciplinary issues that she was facing in the classroom. So as she sat through our workshop, she finally told us that she could see so many different ways of approaching these problems without having to use corporal punishment and she left the workshop with increased energy and motivation to be able to deal with her students in in positive impactful and creative ways uh, we have also had uh, cases where the schools have approached us to work with them because they were facing uh, disciplinary issues in the schools up to the level of uh, students getting into gangs and uh, uh, resorting to violence among themselves and through our intervention we've had the students involving in dialogue and getting to know about the others and learning different uh, communication and uh, uh, conflict resolution skills. The students finally formed a club, a conflict resolution club, where uh, they would be the ones uh, dealing with conflict issues among the students. And I think that's a very positive change that uh, those who were actually involved in some of these uh, issues that the school was facing were the ones now looking in the future and trying to find ways of non-violently and peacefully re uh, resolve these issues. So in our small way we believe that we have been able to contribute to bringing about a more uh, understanding, respectful and um, creative school environment and I uh, hope that our partners will agree with us. Um, as far as the relationship between the Department of Education and DCCR is concerned, you know, we have been working uh, together for the welfare of the society um, since its inception. And uh, we are very much uh, impressed by TCCR uh, in various ways. Uh, I've personally worked with TCCR in 2017 when we requested them to uh, give us a two-day training uh, to our mentors on the basic education policy for Tibetans in exile, specifically about the aims of giving education. And uh, all the participants, you know, they were very much satisfied with the workshop and, uh, you know, unanimously requested us to give such workshop in future as well. And the team of trainers from TCCR. They are always ready with so many hands-on activities as well as so many take-home messages uh, from the workshop. From the very beginning, TCCR has given high priority to strengthening relations between Tibetans and Indians. Our intercultural workshops have contributed in creating one-of-a-kind platform for local Indians and Tibetans to recognize each other's hopes and fears and understand our struggles. These initiatives have given rise to several programs being jointly organized and participated by Indian and Tibetan NGOs. Tibetans, whether we live in India or any other part of the world, we feel a very strong emotional attachment with, the, with India. And whether it's the rich Indian culture or it's the deep-rooted friendships that, that have formed with the Indian people over the years. There's always something that pulls at our heartstrings when we hear about India or the Indian people. Being a refugee community, finding our second home in India 
or uh, to be very frank, the only home that we know of for most of us. We believe that it is of high importance that we have a very strong relation between the two communities. Conflicts are part of our life and it's an inevitable part of social change. However, when individual incidences of uh, violence or uh, misbehavior uh, leads to polarization between the two communities and violent behavior between the two communities uh, on the whole, then it becomes very unfortunate. Therefore, being a center for conflict resolution, one of our um, main area of focus has been always to uh, find these friendships and these similarities between the two communities that brings us together. And uh, we have uh, organized workshops where Indians and Tibetans have sat together, learned conf conflict resolution and communication skills, and at the same time learn and understand about each other's uh, problems and difficulties they are facing and their challenges, their visions, their dreams, basically giving a space for the development of uh, mutual respect between the two communities. In 2010, I have attended the workshop, uh, conflict resolution workshop, and uh, it was a wonderful experience for me to understand the Tibetan culture and the, and the problems of the, the Tibetans. It makes me to think and uh, to, to talk with other people in the society, but people are, are having stereotypes about to clear that because I was the one who attended this so I was having a very different vision about Tibetans and their culture and their problems and what they are trying to do and uh, uh, I found that they were wonder wonderful people, helpful people and they are trying their best here to help our society and uh, they are working uh, very hard to preserve our environment and so so uh, I started respecting them and now as we are walking into our 20th year, we feel very proud and at the same time very humbled that we are able to collaborate with uh, notable Indian organizations and institutes and universities where we are able to uh, share our um, expertise with them and help them in the process. So yes, this is a very important uh, aspect of our work that we would really want to continue with. Our efforts at inclusivity and broadening our scope of expertise have encouraged more institutions and organizations, including various Indian universities and NGOs, to regularly seek our expertise. With the collaboration of Department of Social Work, TCCR has organized many workshops, which I believe personally that has not only trained these students, but has also imp impacted their personal life, because they are now being more concerned and they are much more focused. In the future, we'll expect that we'll be having a collaborative effort with TCCR and Department of Social Work. Wish you all the best. All the best TCCR. I remember way back in 2016 when I first experienced their training and um, on the very first day itself I was mesmerized and um, taken aback by the training method, the trainers, their interactiveness and how they indulged with the trainees. It was really impactful for me personally and as well as professionally. Therefore after joining uh, the Tibetan Career Center as its head consultant and having felt the need we invited the TCCR team to conduct more such trainings at the center. Uh, so far um, nearly 10 trainings have been conducted at the center and more than 200 Tibetan youth have benefited from it. Over the past two decades, TCCR has evolved to become a reliable partner for educational institutions and various NGOs in delivering organizational strengthening trainings, problem solving and team building interventions. Our exceptional team of Tibetan professionals are equipped with subject expertise, technical competence and employ the finest communication tools and interactive methodologies to deliver highly educative and rewarding learning experiences. The work of the uh, Tibetan Center for Conflict Resolution has had a tremendous impact on the Tibetan society. I have also personally been uh, very impressed by the work that uh, uh, the center has done. Uh, the Dalai Lama himself has said that uh, we should try to resolve conflicts by understanding each other, by dialogue. And so this center in some ways also fulfills this uh, stand that His Holiness has, that uh, conflicts should be resolved through discussion, through dialogue 
and understanding. I think uh, the centre also has done uh, a wonderful job of uh, sen sensitising people that uh, when there's a conflict or misunderstanding that they you know, need not necessarily immediately uh, indulge in uh, violence, you know, not necessarily physical violence but even verbal violence and uh, help people to realize that there are other ways of overcoming the uh, um, conflicts they are confronted with. I would like to express my uh, sincere gratitude to all the people who've been working in the TCCR. Uh, I think they are doing a wonderful job and I hope they will be successful. TCCR continues to draw strength and inspiration from the encouraging feedback and appreciation we receive from our trainees, the notable progress we see our partner organizations make, and the improvements and interventions bring to the lives of our participants. Our success is a testament to the innate human nature to resolve conflicts and work together as a team to build a better future for all. Oh,